Okay, the first part of the second part of this decorating the upstairs is getting this desk up there. It's not near as heavy as the box that I took up, but it definitely is awkward, and you've seen many a videos of this stuff like this going wrong, so let's hope it don't go wrong. First thing I gotta do is get up there, and looks like looks like my buddy Archie's gonna follow me up. Okay, watch out. Archie, let me go first. Come up, Arch. Hurry up. Come on, buddy. If you're coming, come. Good job, Archie. Okay, now let me do my thing, okay? Come on, stay out of the way for a second. Just for a minute. <laughs> Here we go again. Just give me a minute, okay? You can come up there. You're gonna have to stay out of the way though, okay? I know what. easy enough. And then I've got an old set of books that I'm going to put up on here. It's a, it's a, it's a double-sided book. So Heidi on one side and then another story on the other side. These are kids books, I guess. Huckleberry Finn, and Tom Sawyer. I'm not sure when they were printed, but I've got the entire set. Something that was in a box of junk someone dropped off. They just look good sitting in there. I'm not going to overly clutter this area because if it's a desk, someplace you want to be able to sit at and write, I just have a couple things. A little pencil sketch that my buddy did for me, the guy that had the hardware store. There's those, and I got something I'll put right there, and then that's pretty much it for that. I need... Okay, this is what we're gonna do here for a light. This is one of my rods from the fireplace from the cooking unit down there. There was quite a few of those with there. I don't really need all of them. So I'm going to put this above here and hook. This is an old piece of hand forged chain. I had a piece about that long. I used parts of it in the grill and I need to get this lamp down a little bit. So I'm just going to stick this on here and then put this oil lamp on this direction. Now what that'll do is give me the ability to scoot this back if I want, scoot it forward if I need, and even if I need to go closer to this direction. So anywhere I want to put it, I can move it. So I'm going to start out with where I think it's going to hang all the time, which is there. So as I've mentioned before, I have knob and tube wiring up here that controls the lighting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie into the knob and tube and run a light bulb down in here. So when I kick the lights on for up here, this light will just naturally come on by itself as well. Maybe I'll take out this bulb because I don't need that much light up here. So that's what I'm going to do now. To do that, i got to kill this lighting though and hook up uh, another light. I've got one on back here. I'll have to move it closer so I can get some wires soldered in here get this tied in so I can have light here for my desk. Okay, so the last thing I'm putting over here is my authentic Amish outhouse. And it's got a little thing here that says, um, take a look inside. So it's kind of a gag thing. You know that everybody that open, sees that's gonna wanna open it, especially kids. 
but you'd be surprised it gets adults pretty good too. So when you try to look inside, it blows to pieces. Okay, so what I've decided for this corner behind me is a montage to the woodworker. I've got a lot of tools here. A lot of these come from one single yard sale. Um, so we'll start with uh, big block planes, drill bits, clamps, chisels, piles and piles and piles of chisels, uh, levels, sharpening stones. These actually are very special to me. These are what was left of the pegs from the original log cabin. I didn't have a lot of them left because the roof had collapsed, so it had snapped off most of my pins, but I was able to save these. And then I found this, which is part of an old horseshoe that somebody had made into, my guess would be a scribe for, for scribing the woodwork. And I found this in the original log cabin, pounded into a rafter. So my guess is it was used for building the log cabin, was put there when the log cabin was done being constructed, and then was left there forever until I tore the cabin down and I found it. So this definitely has to go up here somewhere. My thoughts have always been pound it back into a rafter where it was. So that's probably where this will go. It'll probably just, I'll find a spot someplace and pound it back in and leave it where it had been intended to be. <clears throat> From there, all kinds of planes, chisels, draw knives, hammers um, from from little ones that I barely used. This one I made myself out of a piece of locust and I use it a lot. So it's going to go up here but it'll be taken down and used from time to time. My big barn hammer was given to me before I started the cabin project. I used it a lot through the project. So it's definitely going up here somewhere. Um, it was quite a bit of help in building the, the cabin. Old cloth tape measures, not really much good, but boy, you can just see how much it had been used over the years. Uh, smaller draw knives, awls, plumb bobs. All of this stuff, I'll build some shelves in the back corner and get this stuff to display it over there so people can see it. Let me throw it together. I've got a stack of books here, old books, um, that I'll use to break up the pieces parts. So there might be some, some chisels and then a little stack of books. Just something to, to give it some character. So let me work on that for a while. Let me build a couple shelves. Shelves are going to be simple. I had a couple things I wanted to use over here for shelving and nothing will work because the chimney sort of tapers in, so it's bigger at the bottom, plus I've got the angle of the pitch of the roof. Nothing seems to be working over there. So I'm going to just cut a couple brackets like this. Um, there's some wood over on that side, which was from an old, back in the day of my town, glass used to come in on trains. From the trains, it would be moved from the train depot to the hardware store on horse and buggy. They were always in really nice crates. That wood is part of those crates and I have a whole big stack of it in the basement. So I'll probably be using that crate wood to make these shelves with. And then many of other projects in the future, I'm sure there's enough down there to last me my lifetime. Okay, so first off, I put an oil lamp here but of course it's got a light bulb inside of it. And then in order to light this corner, because it's so dark, I just ran a wire up behind and I've got a light bulb here. It's an LED bulb too, really cold, but it's not touching anything. It's sort of suspended out of middle of space there, but it's behind the beam so that from the room, you really can't see the light bulb. It's just shining light into the corner. So, and basically my drills, drill bits, clamp, some books on the top just to break up the monotony and then 
on this side levels that old saw box with the level in the bottom, saws in the top, a sharpening stone, my gigantic wooden hammer, old barn hammer, chisels, plane, the old, that's a, I guess you could call it a yard stick, but it's 48 inches long, so it's a four foot stick. And then basically just a bunch of other woodworking tools from, from little awls to, to longer ones, a bunghole drill, plumb bobs, all kinds of draw knives. I keep coming up with a, a loss there. Bunch of draw knives in there, plumb bobs up on the top. And then I just sort of, you know, hung things like this here just to Again, it's something they may have used and to break up the monotony of, of, of plain space. So that's the remainder of the loft down this other side. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to leave it open. I like a lot of open floor space. So I'll get all the way back and let you get a look, see from, from back a little further. Well, that does it for the sleeping loft. There's not a whole lot up here, but that was my goal. Just a place to sleep um, and then a place to store my tools so they're not down in the damp basement. So, hope you've enjoyed and stay tuned for whatever's next. And honestly, I'm not sure. We'll see when the time comes. Thank you and good night.